you wanted to use shaders in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but you don't know how to make them work, well today I'm going to be showing you how you can get shaders in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm going to be showing the steps of how you can make this happen in your world, and hopefully troubleshoot some of the issues you may have. Shaders are super cool, so let's hop into it. So, step number one is probably the most important step, that if you miss this, it nothing will work. So, make sure you are playing in the Minecraft preview. This will not work on your regular edition of Minecraft. So make sure you go into the Minecraft launcher, and instead of playing the latest release, make sure you click the drop down arrow and switch it to the Minecraft preview. And again, this will not work unless you are playing in the preview, and you should be able to load it up uh, you might have to install it onto your computer or onto your mobile device and this potentially might work for Xbox and other consoles, I'm not too sure, but you can sure find a way to maybe do that. And the second thing that you need to do is make sure you have a deferred renderer pack. So Luminous Dreams will be the one that I'm using. And again, make sure you're in the preview. So all you have to do is scroll down, make sure you click the download right here. You'll have to select I'm not a robot unless you are a robot. Anyway, you wait for this, you click get downloads, and all you have to do is click this, and it should start downloading. Now, you can save this to wherever you want to, so you'll be able to find it later. For example, I will just save mine here, all you have to do is click save, go to wherever it's located, and if this has a regular Minecraft symbol, all you have to do is click open with the Minecraft preview. So normally when you download a Mic add-on or Mic pack, they have this green symbol, which will open in the regular Minecraft edition that you have. And if you've never played the preview, it should look like that as well. However, you need this in the preview. So all you have to do is right click, go to open with, and click the Minecraft preview. So here is step number three. You should import it into your Minecraft preview. If you're creating a new world, hit create new, create new world. And this is one of the most important things to do. Scroll down to experiments, all the way down to the bottom, the Renderer Dragon Features for Creators. Click that. If you do not click this, it will not work. Hit on Turn On Experiments anyway, and then go to Resource Packs, go to Owned, scroll down, and find Poggy's Luminous Dreams. Hit Activate. Then you can go into your Active, and you'll see this on here. If you want to change some of the settings, you can go in here and change some of the settings to adjust them for whatever you want to. Then after you have all this active, you can change the world name and hit create. However, if you want to do this for a pre-existing world, go into the pencil, scroll most of the way down until you find experiments and click the render dragon feature for creators. So this will say you'll make a copy of your world. All you have to do is click experiments. It will make a copy of your world. Make sure you go into it, go to resource packs and activate Poggy's luminous dreams. Then all you have to do is play preview. And so once you load into your world, Luminous Dream should be active. When you load into your world, it should look something like this. Uh, no textures, no shaders yet. But there's a very simple way to fix this. All you have to do is go into your settings, scroll down, click video, and make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now in the graphics mode, click deferred technical preview. Now that should automatically put your shaders in. And just like that, you have should have shaders working. It's pretty cool. However, there is some settings to adjust, especially on your first time. I know for me, I couldn't see barely anything. So go into settings, scroll down to the bottom, click deferred graphics options. And for the main thing, adjust the brightness. So for me, when I loaded it up, the brightness was too dark for me to have it just be barely visible. So I adjusted it for this to be barely visible. And for me, that has worked the best. However, there's also a bunch of other options you can add to kind of change things up a little bit. I would recommend leaving anti-aliasing at 2, and for the rest of these settings, I would just modify them to whatever helps you run the best. So for me, you could turn these down to low, and it still looks really good. However, one thing I have changed on and off is the volumetric fog quality. So sometimes the fog is a little bit overwhelming, and it doesn't look super great sometimes when you have it on. So everything should be working appropriately. And all you have to do is start playing. This should work for Pocket Edition and potentially Xbox as well. I'm not entirely sure how to make it work for that. Um, sometimes you can do joining other players who might have the preview or creating a realm with the shader pack on. You might be able to do that for console. I'm not too sure. It was a random comment that I saw when I was researching a little bit about how to make shaders work. But this should work for Pocket as well. Just follow the same steps, uh, but for Pocket Edition. However, some of you still might be having problems, and this is the problem I ran into when I was trying to get these to work. So this is a pretty simple fix, and I think it mostly affects laptops, but it could be other devices as well. So all you have to do is type in graphic settings. So once you have this open, you want to click browse, 
go to the Microsoft Store app and in the drop down menu, find the Minecraft preview. Make sure you click that and click add. Now scroll down to the Minecraft preview, click the options button and make sure it's on high performance. For me, I did not have this initially set. And once I clicked the high performance and reset my computer, I was able to get the shaders working. Now this is a small fix and it should also help Minecraft run a little bit better. And you can do the same for your regular Minecraft Bedrock to make it run a little bit better, hopefully. So there is another side tip. Now, once you have adjusted that, all you should do is follow the same steps as before and it should be working. If not, it could be that your device is not powerful enough. I know, especially from mobile, that could be the case. Or there is another thing that I don't know about that is preventing it from working. So hopefully this gets it fixed for you. And once again, number one, make sure you have the Minecraft preview. Number two, make sure you have a deferred rendering texture pack. Number three, make sure you have the settings adjusted in the settings options. And number four, make sure your device can handle it and change some of the graphical settings to get it to work. Hopefully that has solved some of your problems and hopefully you're able to play with shaders. So let me know in the comments below if you'll be using this. And if you wanna see some more videos, check these out over here. Thanks for watching. Bye.